Spike is an Israeli fourth-generation man-portable fire unforget anti-tank guided missile and anti-personnel missile with a tandem charge heat warhead, developed and designed by the Israeli company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. As well as engaging and destroying targets within the line of sight of the launcher, fire unforget, some variants of the missile are capable of making a top attack profile through a fire, observe and update guidance method, the operator tracking the target or switching to another target, optically through the trailing fiber optic wire, or RF link in the case of the vehicle mounted, long range NLOS variant, while the missile is climbing to altitude after launch. This is similar to the lofted trajectory flight profile of the US FGM 148 Javelin. Design Spike is a fire unforget missile with lock on before launch and automatic self guidance. The missile is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker. The medium, long and extended range versions of the spike also have the capability of fire, observe and update operating mode. The missile is connected by a fiber optical wire that is spooled out between the launch position and the missile. With this, the operator can obtain a target if it is not in the line of sight of the operator at launch, switch targets in flight, or compensate for the movement of the target if the missile is not tracking the target for some reason. Hence. The missile can be fired speculatively for a target of opportunity, or to provide observation on the other side of an obstacle. The missile has a soft launch capability the motor firing after the missile has left the launcher that allows for the missile to be fired from confined spaces, which is a necessity in urban warfare. The missile uses a tandem warhead two shaped charges, a precursor warhead to detonate any explosive reactive armor and a primary warhead to penetrate the underlying armor. Currently. It is replacing aging second-generation anti-tank missiles like the Milan and M47 Dragon in the armies of the user nations. The spike system is made up of the launching tripod with its fire control unit and the missile. There is no dedicated thermal site on the launcher the missile's imaging seeker is used. Altogether, the long-range variant of the system weighs around 26 kilograms, 57 pounds. Spike can be operated from the launcher by infantry or from mounts that can be fitted to vehicles such as fast attack vehicles, armored personnel carriers or utility vehicles. Vehicles that are not normally fitted with anti-tank weapons can therefore be given anti-tank capability. Spike has been tested as a weapon system for the Sajim Spearware unmanned aerial vehicle. The Spanish Army has fitted the Spike ER to its Eurocopter Tiger attack helicopters. Both Israel and the United States have experimented with arming Black Hawk helicopters with the Spike missile, the US variant is used in A-60M Battle Hawk helicopters. Marketing In order to facilitate the selling of the weapon system in Europe, the company Eurospike GmbH was formed in Germany. Its shareholders deal BGT Defense, 40%, Rheinmetall Defense Electronics, 40%, and Raphael via Urkas BV. 20%. Urkas BV is a Dutch holding company owned 100% by Raphael. Eurospike GmbH is located in Rothenbach, Germany. The European variant of the Spike weapon system differs a little from the Israeli version and is marketed under the name Eurospike. For other areas of the world, Raphael Advanced Defense Systems Limited is solely responsible. Variants The Reusable Command and Launch Unit CLU, battery, tripod, and the thermal site are common for both MR and LR versions of the Spike missile family, each weighing 5 kg, 11 pounds 0 ounces, 1 kg, 2 pounds 3 ounces, 2.8 kg, 6 pounds 3 ounces, and 4 kg, 8 pounds 13 ounces, respectively. Spike SR the short-range version of the weapon was unveiled in 2012 to give infantrymen a guided missile between the larger Spike MR and unguided rockets. The missile is 8 kg, 17 pounds 10 ounces, for a 9.8 kg, 21 pounds 10 ounces, disposable munition for use at platoon level whose minimum range is 50 m, 160 feet, and whose maximum range is 1.5 km, 0.93 miles. It is equipped with a stiff-necked uncooled electro-optical infrared seeker and advanced tracker, as opposed to the gimbaled seeker in the Spike MR-LR-ER versions. The Spike SR does not require a separate sight, 
instead utilizing the low-cost thermal camera and guidance electronics strapped to the missile's nose to provide this function through a display integrated into the launcher, showing the target until launch. The warhead can either be a multi-purpose tandem-shaped charge warhead with blast fragmentation effect or a new penetration blast fragmentation PBF, variant leveraged from the Matador's anti-structure warhead to equip maneuvering forces in urban environments to breach enemy cover and structures with a lethal blast effect. In May 2016 Rafael concluded deliveries of Spike SR to its first export customer, later revealed to be the Singapore Armed Forces to replace the Carl Gustav M2. Spike MR The medium-range version, also known as GIL. The weight of the missile is 14 kg, 30 pounds 14 ounces, its minimum range is 200 m, while its maximum range is 2,500 m, 1.6 miles. It is used by infantry and special forces. Spike LR Long-range version The weight of the missile is 14 kg, 30 pounds 14 ounces, and the weight of the complete system is less than 45 kg, 99 pounds 3 ounces. Maximum range is 4000 m, 2.5 miles, and it is used by infantry and light combat vehicles. It adds fiber optic communication to and from the operator during flight. Reported armor penetration capability is more than 700 mm, 28 in, of rolled homogeneous armor. RHA. It is also deployed by Sentry Tech remotely controlled weapons stations along the Gaza border. In early 2014, Rafael revealed they had increased the range of the Spike LR to 5 km, 3.1 miles, enhancing versatility on existing firing platforms and allowing it to be utilized on new ones like light helicopters. Spike LR2 a new generation of the original Spike LR is in full-scale development and scheduled to be operational by the end of 2018. Spike LR2, called in Israel, Gil 2, 2, has reduced weight to 12.7 kg, 28 pounds, increased range of 5.5 km, 3.4 miles, at ground level and 10 km, 6.2 miles, from helicopters using an RF data link warhead options of tandem heat with 30% increased armor penetration or a multipurpose blast warhead with selectable impact or penetration detonation fusing, a new seeker that includes an uncooled IR sensor with a smart target tracker with artificial intelligence features, the ability to fire on grid. Target coordinates using an inertial measurement unit for third-party target allocation, and is compatible with legacy launchers. The missile is designed with a counteractive protection system, CAPS, capability, being able to hit targets at higher impact angles of up to 70 degrees. First ordered by the IDF in October 2017. Spike ER. Extended range or extra long range version of the weapon. It was formerly also known as the NT Dandy or NTD. It has a minimum range of 400 m and a maximum range of 8000 m, 5.0 miles. It has a larger diameter and is heavier than the other systems, and is usually vehicle mounted. It is used by infantry, light combat vehicle, LCVs, and helicopters. The Finnish Navy's coastal Jaegers also operate the version in the anti-ship role. The weight of the missile is 34 kg, 74 pounds 15 ounces, the launchers are 30 kg, 66 pounds 2 ounces, and 55 kg. 121 pounds 4 ounces, respectively for the vehicle and air-launched versions. Penetration is around 1,000 mm, 39 in, of RHA. Spike NLOS Non-line of sight is an ultra-long-range version of the weapon with a claimed maximum range of up to 25 km, 16 miles. It is a significantly larger missile than other Spike variants with an overall weight of around 70 kg. 154 pounds 5 ounces, that can be launched from the ground or from helicopters. It was developed following lessons learned in the Yom Kippur War, which showed a need for a high-precision guided tactical ground-to-ground -ground battlefield missile. Codenamed Tamuz, the first variants entered service with the IDF in tandem with the Paris missile carrier in 1981, though the existence of both was not revealed to the public until 2011. 
In 2011 it also became known that in a highly unusual move, the British Army was hastily equipped with the missile, drawn directly from IDF inventory after being exposed to increasing insurgent attacks in Iraq and Afghanistan beginning in 2007. The UK initially acquired 600 missiles which it designated Exactor 1 in British service, later procuring a more advanced variant designated Exactor 2. In a deal concluded on September 6, 2011, the South Korean government had agreed to purchase an unknown number of Spike NLOS missiles. Rafael is working on expanding the missile's versatility by enhancing the existing EOIR-CCD seeker with semi-active laser, SAL, capability and different anti-armor, blast penetration, and high-explosive fragmentation warheads to meet specific applications. Many Spike on September 2, 2009, at an IDF exhibition held at the Third Latrun Annual Land Warfare Conference, the Israeli Defense Force unveiled a new member of the Spike family of missiles the Mini Spike Anti-Personnel Guided Weapon, APGW. Raphael claimed that this latest member of the Spike family of missile costs and weighed only a third of the Spike LR at 4 kg, 8.8 pounds while offering a longer engagement range of 1.31.5 km, 0.810.93 mi, when compared to the Spike SR. It was to introduce new flight modes to enable precision strikes in urban areas, such as flying through an open windows or attacking an enemy hidden behind defilade or obstacles using non-line-of-sight engagement. Mini Spike would use the same launcher and sight system of the Spike LR, loading the missile on a special adapter. Eventually, by 2016 Mini Spike development had been discontinued. Operators 100 Spike LR missile system Some of them mounted on plays and sand cat vehicles. Belgium 60 Spike MR-LR missile systems. Chile Total 2100 Spike LR-MR-ER missiles. Colombia Total 300 Spike MR-LR and 15 Spike ER missiles. The Colombian National Army Aviation's fleet of Sikorsky A-60 RPIA 4 series helicopters are armed with three variants of the Spike, the ER, LR, and NLOS. Croatia Croatia has reportedly ordered 20 Spike launchers for its Patria AMV armored vehicles. Croatia has indicated a requirement for 48 launchers as part of the Patria program with the first 16 being delivered by 2017 and remaining launchers after that. Croatian Army has requirement for up to 300 launchers, replacing old Soviet systems, however no purchase made of additional systems for ground combat units. Czech Republic Mounted on KBVP versions of Pander 2 IFVs Ecuador Total 244 missiles, delivered October 2009. Finland. Total 700 missiles, breakdown being 300 Spike MR with the remaining 400 being Spike ER. 100 MR, Panzer Intergentiogis Jargistal Ma 2000, launchers plus an option for 70 more, and 18 ER, Ranikoogis 2006, launchers for coastal anti-ship use. Also Spike LR missiles as a newer purchase. Germany Total 4,000 Spike LR missiles, 311 LR launchers on Puma vehicles. India Defense News reported that the Indian Army wanted to order Spike missiles and peripheral equipment in a $1 billion deal. Indian Ministry of Defense officials told the magazine that the order is for 321 launchers, 8,356 missiles. 15 training simulators, and peripheral equipment. In October 2014, India chose to buy the Spike over the US Javelin. India's state-owned Bharat Dynamics Limited will be the systems integrator for the missiles with major work share for manufacture to be handled by Bharat Dynamics and Kalyani Group. On November 20, 2017, it was announced that the deal was cancelled due to lack of transfer of technology. The DRDO has been instructed to produce an indigenous missile. However, Indian media sources have reported that the contract will proceed as part of a restructured government-to-government -government agreement. Israel The Spike NLOS, Tomas, was introduced into service in the early 1980s. 
In 1997, the Spike MR, Gil, LR, Gomed, ER, Perak Bar, with associated launchers entered service. Italy First contract for Italian Army was in 2003 for 53.6 million euros, 53 launchers and 510 missile, 165 of which 165 MR, second contract in 2009, 120 million euros, 90 launchers, 84 for Italian Army, 6 for Italian Navy, and 990 missile LR, of which 110 for Navy inside 21 launchers for the VTLM Linz, 20 LR launchers for the Dardo IFV, 28 indoor and 39 outdoor training systems. 36 LR launchers with unknown number LR-ER missiles was inside the 2000 and SIXS contract for the IVCO 8X8 Freccia. In 2010 Italian Army buys 800 Spike ER for 63 million euro, to update A129 Meng USTA in delivering since 2010 to 2014, Cipri 2013. Is expected almost another batch for 175 launchers and 2.002 missiles. Latvia. Total 12 Spike LR. Additional order in February 2018. Lithuania. On December 11, 2015 Lithuania decided to buy 88 Boxer armored vehicles armed with Spike LR missiles. Netherlands The decision to replace the M47 Dragon, in use with reconnaissance units, and tow, in use with mechanized infantry, with the Gil MRAT was made in 2001, with deliveries expected in 2002. A total of 297 launchers were purchased along with 2,433 rockets. The Conning Cliquey Landmacht accounted for 237 launchers and 1974 rockets, whilst the Conning Cliquey Marine acquired 60 launchers and 459 rockets. The first weapon was actually issued in 2004 to the Regiment Van Huets. Peru. Total 516 Spike LR missiles. 48 launchers.250 Spike Mr. Missiles, 64 launchers, 450 Spike ER Missiles, 80 launchers. Philippines Spike ER Missiles mounted in Typhoon MLSER weapon stations on board multi-purpose attack craft, MPAC, MK3, and Spike NLOS for A-159 Wildcat naval helicopters. Poland Total 2,675 Spike LR missiles, 264 launchers. Additional 1,000 Spike LR missiles on order. Portugal. Total 20 Spike MR slash LR missiles. South Korea. A South Korean government deal concluded on September 6, 2011 has confirmed the procurement of unspecified numbers of Spike NLOS of which about 50 missiles will be forward deployed to the South Korean islands of Benganyong and Yunpyeong, close to the northern limit line with North Korea. On May 19, 2013 the South Korean military confirmed that dozens of spike missiles had been deployed on the islands. The Republic of Korea Navy will also deploy the spike NLOS on Augusta Westland AW-159 Wildcat helicopters and the Republic of Korea Marine Corps has the Spike NLOS mounted on Plaisan Sand Cat Light Vessels. Romania Total 1,950 missiles, breakdown being 1,000 Spike ER with the remaining 950 being Spike LR. For use on IAR-330 Soke attack helicopters and MLI-84 MIFVs. Singapore In 1999, Singapore became the second country to acquire the Spike ATGM. Total 1,000 Spike LR missiles, with associated launchers. The Singapore Army also has introduced the Spike SR as the new generation anti-tank guided missile for its infantry battalions. Slovenia Spike MR LR has been in operational use in the Slovenian Armed Forces since 2009. Total 75 missiles. Some will be on Patria AMVs. Spain. Total 2,800 missiles, breakdown being 2,600 Spike LR with remaining 200 being Spike ER. 236 Spike LR launchers, 
option for 100 more, 2,360 missiles for Spanish Army, 24 Spike LR launchers and 240 missiles for Spanish Navy Marines. Spike ER on Eurocopter Tiger Attack Helicopters, Spanish Army. United Kingdom. Over 600 Spike NLOS missiles purchased by the British Army, in the first order in 2007. 14 minutes and 113 seconds equipped with Spike NLOS launchers, under the codename of Exactor. Operated by the British Army during the Iraq War and the war in Afghanistan. Evaluations. Australia. Spike LR. India. Defence News reported that the Indian Army wanted to order Spike missiles and peripheral equipment in a $1 billion deal. Indian Ministry of Defence officials told the magazine that the order is for 321 launchers, 8,356 missiles, 15 training simulators, and peripheral equipment. In October 2014, India chose to buy the Spike over the US Javelin. India's state-owned Bharat Dynamics Limited will be the systems integrator for the missiles with major work share for manufacture to be handled by Bharat Dynamics and Kalyani Group. On November 20, 2017, it was announced that the deal was cancelled due to lack of transfer of technology. The DRDO has been instructed to produce an indigenous missile. However, Indian media sources have reported that the contract will proceed as part of a restructured government-to-government -government agreement. Thailand. Spike MR is a contender along with Javelin. Turkey. In January 1998, a partnership arrangement was announced between Israeli Aerospace Industries and Kamov to market the Kamov Ka 50 2 attack helicopter in Turkish competition. One of the optional armaments being offered for the Ka 50 2 was the Spike ER missile. Eventually, Ka 50 2 lost to Thai Augusta Westland T 129. Turkey has also examined the use of Rafael overhead weapon station with Spike for its Otokar Cobra light armoured vehicles. United Kingdom In February 2001, the British MOD awarded two contracts valued at $8.8 .8 million for a year-long assessment of the Javelin and Spike MR. The Spike was being offered by Rafael Advanced Defence Systems teamed with Mattress B Dynamics, while the Javelin was being offered by a team of Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. The UK would like to field a lightweight anti-tank missile system for its Joint Rapid Reaction Force by 2005. In February 2003, the British MOD selected the Javelin. United States The spike was offered by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems as a possible contender in the US Army JAWS missile program in 1996. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.